<laughs> you guys get the worst of me. <laughs> no, that's that's the best. It's all all about the content, the good Dude, content. I am a content monster. <laughs> <laughs> This is not an easy question, because, oh no, why are you giving me this hard question? <laughs> I think for me, my best right now is Cardi B. Cardi B. <laughs> More recently, I'll say Cardi. Damn. That whole floral piece she got done by Jamie Sheen, come on, I mean. Getting her whole back and her whole butt redone and, you know, added to, I, I think Jamie Sheen did that. Jamie's already, like, Insane, yeah. Yeah. insane. But that piece, to heal on darker skin the way that it did and be so vibrant. I've always been looking at, at Cardi B's leg and just been like, God, girl, fix that peacock. Like, please, you have the money, you have it. And then I saw the other day that she uh, had him redo it and that shit looks dope. And she's crediting the artist, thank God. You know, the fact that she's going online and crediting her artist, that's really what's awesome because yes, he's doing it for, you know, as one, she's a client, but obviously I would hope if I'm tattooing Cardi B, she's going to help put my name out there. So she fixed that huge peacock on her side, it looks great. And then she also got that like floral arrangement going from like the top of her shoulder all the way down to her thigh, which also looks really, really good. And she she credited her artist on a few on a few occasions. And I really, really with that. And so so right now I'll say she made the best tattoo choices of 2020. And just like the technicalities of it, some of the flowers being out of focus, some of them in, like she made the best choice by far. <laughs> I know like the Rock has some great tattoos. The Rock, you know, The Rock got a tattoo by Nico Hutado. I guess The Rock. The Rock did an amazing um, half sleeve, if you will, of that Maori style, and and it's so popular that till this day, you know, a lot of people just get the same tattoo over and over again. The Rock. I mean, he's got Nico Hurtado covered up. One of the most iconic tattoos, like ever, other than Goldberg's tribal. You know what I'm saying? So. Didn't Sylvester Stallone get tattooed by uh, Mike DeVries? DeVries? I can't, I never know how to pronounce his name. He did good choices there. Sylvester Stallone has some great tattoos. It's a toss up between Sly, Stallone, and The Rock. Because I think Sly got like a bunch of Mike DeVries work. Um, and this was like before social media was really hitting with tattooers. So like, he did research because he wanted good tattoos. Ben from Imagine Dragons, he is really, I'm really very happy with, he looks great. He started getting a full body suit and he's he's done really good choices and it's beautiful and cohesive. A lot of celebrities that I think are making much more positive choices with tattoos and getting much more high quality work, like uh, if you know that guy Maluma, so he's like the Spanish artist, so I see he gets tattooed by Stefano all the time. It looks like he's covering a lot of really nice stuff, so I think he's been making some really good choices. I know Scott Campbell just did Travis Scott's head with some beautiful patterns. That was really nice. I thought that was just simple and, and clean. I liked that. The celebrity I feel like made the best choices with getting tattooed was Amber Rose. Because she went through Nico Hurtado and her arm is just, it's gorgeous. It's like, you got this money, why not invest the time into finding a good artist, you know? You can't hate on Ozzy's tattoos, you know? Ozzy's got some good shit back in the day. That big blue demon or whatever he's got on his chest. That thing was dope. It's still dope. I don't give a fuck. That shit's dope. My person that I would say made the best tattoo choice that celebrity would probably be Brianna. I think that literally every tattoo she's gotten up to this point has become iconic and everybody has tried to like redo it. So like she has made a lot of great choices and her placements is always the best. You know, everybody love Rihanna. I have personally no beef with Rihanna, but them stars behind the ear, that caused me so much tension in my work life for so long, trying to talk girls out of it. Like, 
Who are you angry at? I. Right, so here's the thing. You're gonna come in here, get these stars, and you're gonna keep working at Walmart and. Shit. And then they're not even gonna like that shit Walmart, so you're gonna lose your Walmart job, and now you ain't got no skills, and you ain't Rihanna, girl. You ain't Rihanna. It's seemingly they all made the worst choice, but unfortunately, I don't know much about celebrities to know who made the best choices. I would, I would assume that living your life in that much of a spotlight and not enjoying privacy would be a, a bad choice in itself. So it makes sense to me why all your tattoo choices are also pretty, uh, not so well. The ones who have made the worst ones, and, and let's be real, I don't think of worst as, oh, this is a crazy tattoo, because I honestly usually like crazy tattoos. Um, I would say the worst ones would just be some generic, you know, NBA player who got a bunch of whatevers and it's like, looks poor execution. You get tattooed in your cousin's basement because it's what you know and it's what's in your budget and stuff. It's hard for me to attack that. But I go, when you're a multi-millionaire with access to like, you know, 10 plus million Twitter followers, I go, surely somebody could have pointed you in the right direction. And this is coming from somebody who loves bad tattoos. I, d I wouldn't say that anybody's tattoos is like really, really bad, to be honest, because it's, it's like, it has character sometimes too. Like I know like in New York, it's very trendy to like have tattoos. It looks like homeboy just did it and stuff like that. So like, you know, there's always like people who can just pull their stuff off, you know? I just watched uh, King of Staten Island last night and I got so bummed out looking at Pete Davidson's tattoos. <laughs> but, you know, and I saw Machine Gun Kelly as a tattoo artist in the movie. That was funny. I was like, huh, all right. And he's just covered in crap. Like his tattoos might be overall good, but like Pete Davidson kind of looks like he found a hamper full of tattoos and he just dove in and like rolled around and then hopped out and like whatever was stuck to him. Cause he seems like a nice guy, but he also seems like he might be like a little bit sticky, like to the touch, like an IHOP uh, table. He's just covered in syrup at all times. So whatever stuck to him, he just came out and he's like, oh, looks good, let's go. In the movie, he's like glorifying these scratcher tats, which is in a way kind of endearing because it all plays in with the story. But one can only hope that people don't look at it and go, oh, I want a bunch of those kind of tattoos. I hope, I hope he, he takes something different from it. Um, whoever did uh, LeBron James Kobe tattoo, I didn't really like it. I didn't like, I didn't like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there for me. I'm gonna say Lil Wayne. I mean, he could have had a lot better artists. That yeah, that's it. Yeah. And how covered he is, like head to toe like that. Uh, and then poorest choices, I think is, um, what's this guy's name? I always, I suck with names. Um, um, and I forgot the name, honestly. <laughs> is this white guy, that right, the white singer. Um, that's full of tattoos. Uh, I don't know, Post Malone. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. <laughs> My friend Sway Lee, I think he has some crazy tattoo choices that he made, but like I'm helping him like cover some stuff. So he also makes good tattoo choices, you know? So like, it's all about finding that balance, you know? If you know a good cover-up artist like me, maybe you can go a little bit more crazy, you know? <laughs> I can't think of any, so I, I guess I just have to say Ben Affleck, right? That's that's what we do, is we say Ben Affleck's, like, very strange, like, um, like, 24-year-old white girl back piece of, like, I just want a phoenix because I've overcome a lot of adversity type tattoo, but it's on Ben Affleck. We're going to say that. I'm going to go with that. I love that he pretended it was fake, like when people first saw it. There's gonna be years of evidence to the contrary. And that's such a beautifully short-sighted lie. That's like me being like, someone's like, oh, you look like a goth Oscar the Grouch. How was, how was high school for you? And me being like, high school was easy for me. I did well. 
the lesson behind it is that having money doesn't mean having taste. <laughs>